Simba, NYC TV. Hi, folks. Oh, the weeks are going by so quickly. I can't believe this is the second series and the fourth episode of Simba NYC TV from out of Brooklyn, New York. I want to give a shout out not only to Brooklyn, but to Queens, to Nassau, to Staten Island, to Manhattan, and to the Bronx. And you know what, we're also online, so I just want to say hello to the world. Hello world. My name is Shelda Smith of Shelly S Entertainment, and we are just going to have a very special day today. Uh, we have a bunch of great things planned for you. But I just want to talk briefly about an incident that occurred um, on October 9th. There was a black physician by the name of Dr. Timiko Cross who was on a Delta flight. And on the flight, there was a man experiencing any medical emergency. Um, she jumped into physician mode when she heard the overhead page saying, you know, is there a doctor in the house? And um, when she offered her help, she was dismissed by the uh, staff. Uh, she tried repeatedly. Then she said, shockingly, a white male person walked up and um, she was then told there is a physician on board. Uh, she said that she did not see him uh, show any credentials. My question to you is, why was she refused? What does a doctor look like? So we see that even visually, there's an unconscious processing of racial biasness. Now, what we're going to do now is, I want you to watch this video, and it's called, Can I Bust Tonight? And it's by my special guest, Mr. Liji. Now he's been here before. This is actually his third time. Three is the charm. So we're gonna watch the video, and when we come back, Mr. DG will be sitting right next to me. We'll be right back. Enjoy the video. This one is dedicated to Mary from Warner. Nature's Lane, Mr. DG. Yeah! Not too loose, not too tight Got to be right before you decide to light Love it in a chalice and we love it in a pipe When we get together, can I bust tonight? She give me a kiss It went straight to my head And since that day, we do it like brand new weds Mary from Tawana says she loving up the dread No matter all the rumor in farm or them spread Keeping it together like a butter and a bread The best relationship the dapper ever had It light like a feather but it heavy like a lead If it wasn't for her love I coulda end up dead Or end up most wanted by the feds She come the situation make me keep a level head When things get red and could turn to bloodshed She's got enough reasons lying from A to Z Good kind of loving and I don't need a bed Rather to be kissing in the park instead Good brain food, I mean the best head Listen to the words from the thread Not too loose, not too tight Got to be right before you decide to light Love it in a chalice and me love it in a pipe When we get together, can I bust tonight? Not too loose, not too tight Got to be right before you decide to light Love it in a chalice and me love it in a pipe When we get together, can I bust tonight? She got a few friends that get down like her Hold one second, let me find the number Maybe one of them could be a part-time lover Be on your best behavior when I introduce ya That chocolate eye, she come from Africa In the car, she from a California Put sense in me in ya from Arizona And the gal ganja, she from Jamaica Blueberry and here them just cross the border The two of them come down from Canada They wanna be twisted and blaze with fire If you want one of them, you gotta spend your dollar Far from a pimp more like Cadilla When you spend with me Get what you it's pay the for The ambassador it's the way I <laughs> Yeah not too loose, not too tight Got to be right before you decide to light Love it in a chalice and we love it in a pipe When we get together can I bust tonight? Keep saying it, me, when it's all about you You got me goody goody mean you know what to do The way I hold you make me feel brand new You got my finger sticky icky just like crazy glue Do many a call and a chosen are you You're there when I need someone to talk to Some say that you're bad but they don't have a clue you never tell a liar, you always speak the truth 
I love to smell your fragrance when I'm chilling with my crew Doing what we do on the avenue I got a show to do and this is the venue You've got high school kids breaking the curfew Just to get close to you like the first time this crew Every man want to eat you up like a stew I am the dapper dan and I am passing through This one is dedicated to you Not too loose, not too tight Got to be right before you decide to light Love it in a chalice and we love it in a pint When we get together can I bust tonight Not too loose, not too tight Got to be right before you decide to light Love it in a chalice and we love it in a pint When we get together can I bust tonight You give me a kiss it went straight to my head And since that day we do it like brand new wet Mary from to one say she loving up the dread No matter all the rumor in pharma them spread Keeping it together like a butter and a bread The best relationship the dapper ever had Light like a feather but it heavy like lead If it wasn't for her love I could have end up dead Or end up most wanted by the bed If you are now joining us, um, Mr. Liji is here. Hi. Welcome, Mr. Liji. Hi, Shelly yes. And hi, Simba NYC TV viewers. Now, we, it's always a pleasure when you're here. I mean, it's always, you always bring something new. You yes. must be the busiest man ever. Well, you know, I try to stay, you know, you know, uh, up to the times as they would say with, with my music mm -hmm. and you know I'm consistently creating music writing you know and like they say you know artist is a reflection of the time so with all the things that's been occurring you know in, in America and abroad you know I've just I've just been busy making my contribution mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I'm, I wanted to talk about your video but now that you talked about an artist reflecting the times. I don't know if you were aware, but last week we played your video. Yes, I uh, heard. Okay. <laughs> and that video, uh, Burning House, also known as Black Lives Matter, is certainly um, a video that reflects the times. Yeah. And I, I'd really like to have your take on that, that an artist has that responsibility. You know, we as artists, you know, well, me as an artist, I should really speak for myself. But this is some of the things that I expect from an artist, you know, uh, as far as like their contribution, you know, even if it's dance music they do or just uh, gospel music or, or jazz or whatever the genre may be, mm -hmm. is that, you know, the times and me being, for example, me being a black man on planet Earth, you know, and the things that affect my people and affect us, you know, I definitely have to, to say something about it in music because that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I'm a singer-songwriter, you know, amongst other things, mm -hmm. but we won't talk about that. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, I have to make my contribution. I have to say, you know, what a lot of people want to say, mm -hmm. you know, and probably don't know how to say it. Mm -hmm. You know, and because I'm an artist and I'm a musical artist, uh, I express it through music. Mm -hmm. So I'm constantly making music. You know, and you have the platform. Yes, and the platform is is music. You know, yes. the music, the music videos. You know, I have an audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Regardless of the size of the audience, you have an audience as an artist, and it's your responsibility mm -hmm. to give your audience something of substance. Mm -hmm. I agree. I yeah. do agree. But let's get back to that video. Mm -hmm. The video that we just uh, watched, Can I Bust Tonight? Yeah. Now, <laughs> don't tell me. I saw that that video had some double messages. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. I, knew absolutely. I, I knew I saw that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, without beating around the bush, you know, it's definitely talking about herb, you know, mm -hmm. uh, marijuana which is legal in a, a few states now in America. <laughs> you know, uh, and it's definitely speaking about our women. Mm -hmm. You know, our women are, uh, oh my gosh, our women are like priceless, you know. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I love herbs and my women, <laughs> or my woman, as I should say, not like I'm a womanist or a womanizer or something, mm -hmm. 
You know, I love all women, period, because, you know, they're the mothers of civilization. And, you know, they also are the true comfort to a man. So, uh, you know, I have to definitely big them up. And you're going to see that in a lot of my music if you've mm -hmm. been following me. That, you know, I, I, I really value our women. Mm -hmm. You know, now that I have a daughter too now, it's like even more emphasized, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's I, what I, Can I Bust had to do. So decide. I noticed you, you, you kind of merged them together. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I, I wanted to use my artistic ability to, to give people something to, to embrace and think about, you mm -hmm. know, and, and, and look at from another angle. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate, yes. you know, to what I'm saying. And, and besides your music, I've noticed that your music runs the gamut. I can turn on the YouTube and I can hear you rapping. Yeah. I can hear you doing uh, reggae, uh, a little dance hall, a yeah. uh, little world music, yeah. Afro beat. Yes. I mean, you run the range and your videos <laughs> also reflect that same diversity. Yeah, you know, um, as a musician, you know, I, I've always been influenced by soul music. Mm -hmm. You know, even though my roots were in gospel, I was always influenced by soul music. And soul music is, you know, music you can feel in your soul. Mm -hmm. And a lot of black music is that way. You know, whether it's reggae, whether it's R&B, whether it's rap, hip hop, whether it's Afro beat, mm -hmm. whether it's soca music, you know, mm -hmm. regardless of, of the genre, or, or, or the category that they place the, the soul music in. Mm -hmm. Soul music is one music, really, that mm -hmm. you can feel. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I, I go with what I feel, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like expressing an emotion or a feeling in a jazz song. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a song called 3,000 Miles Away. Yeah. And you know, that's a jazz song. That's a song that I did with uh, the Congo Man crew in Sweden. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I have songs where... Like, for example, Can I Bust Tonight, you know? Mm -hmm. And I have songs like Every Little Thing, which is a reggae song. Mm -hmm. And I have songs like My Lady, which mm -hmm. is R&B predominantly, you know, and, and a little so reggae. So how, how would we categorize you? Who are you? I'm Mr. Lee G, you know, and I can't be boxed like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't feel like, I don't feel like... It's like, I, I used to have a problem back in the days, like when I used to be managed by a, 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 a young lady by the name of Vicky for a while, and she would be shopping my music, mm -hmm. you know, to get a deal and so forth, and they would always try to say, well, so what is it he's doing, you know, is it, you know, or is it that, or is it this? And, and that was like always a problem because, mm -hmm. you know, I always felt, when she asked me, I was always like, you know, I just do music that you can feel in your soul. Mm. It's soul music, you know, mm -hmm. it's black music, basically, you know, and um, all black music is connected, mm -hmm. you know, and, and now I know it's because of Mama Africa. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Speaking of Mama Africa, yeah, I know that you have a charity, uh, Time to Give Back to Africa. I think mm -hmm. we spoke about that the last time you were here. Yeah. Uh, what's happening with your charity? Well, now, you know... Um, we were established as a 501c, you know, officially, and um, we are actually running ads now. We are Right now, we are working on building soccer fields, well, at least one for now, you know, mm -hmm. we're starting small, mm -hmm. and um, we are trying to build, uh, not we are trying, but we are going to build, mm -hmm. with your help, yes. <laughs> you know, uh, soccer fields in, in Mali for the young uh, soccer players out there. And we have an ad out there, and you can also go on our website, which is a time to get back to Africa, and it's ttgbta.com. And you can check out what we're doing there, you mm -hmm. know, and if you want to get involved, that's what you, could, that's what you can do. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that it's something you're very passionate about. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You know, especially after, you know, you know, I've gone, I went to school, you know, I went to high school, School of Performing Arts, I went to LIU, and I've done a lot of reading, mm -hmm. you know, even when I, I, I didn't go to school anymore. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I've, I've done a lot of reading, and I continue to read, 
and, and so forth and get knowledge of self. You know, I, I'm always learning every mm -hmm. day more and more about who I am and where I came from. And a lot of that's been disconnected, you know, through the slavery and, 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 mm -hmm. and, and you know how the history go. But um, now that I'm reconnecting with, 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 with Africa and I see the disadvantages, the disadvantages, sorry, that she's, she, she has to endure, mm -hmm. I just feel as though, you know, even though I'm just one person and one entity, you know, I can be like a spark that can yes. start uh, a flame of, uh, you know, rebuilding, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I apologize for using a, a flame as a metaphor for building something, mm -hmm. but it's it's that fire that gets up under you to make you keep going, yeah. you know? And I feel as though, regardless of however small my contribution is, it is a contribution. Yes. You know, and I figure if we all did that, that, you know, the world would be a better place. Yeah. Well, I saw your last um, venture, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. Yes, you collected over 600 sneakers and yes. clothing, and, and that was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing because the thing about it is that a lot of time when people think about inner city youth or they think about urban youth, it, like, you know, in places like where we are in Brooklyn, New York, mm -hmm. you know, they think of them of being, you know, most of the time self-centered and just into fashion. And, 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 and that venture that we did, that mission was all possible because the youth of Brooklyn mm -hmm. contributed and, 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 and made a difference mm -hmm. by donating their stuff, you know, stuff that they, they figured was like old or they wore it already mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they don't want to rock it no more. They gave it to us and the folks in Africa were really pleased and happy to have it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and it brought a lot of smiles to a lot of the faces mm -hmm. there. So there's, yes. there we have a connection again and that's what we want to do. Yes. We want to make a connection between all the African youths of the world. Yes. Because we're all the same, mm -hmm. you know, we're divided by sea and language, but we're all the same. Mm -hmm. And I think the more we become closer and more knit mm -hmm. and getting an understanding of who we really yes. are, you know, because a lot of that been disconnected yes. when we came to the West, you know. And, and it would, it, the connection wouldn't just be just about the giving, but trying to get them to know their history and for them to get to know their American brothers and sisters. That's yes. kind of like one of the things that, that could come out of, of such a, a marriage, so to speak. Yes, and, and, and it's, I think it's necessary, especially in the time that we're living with the internet and the WhatsApp mm -hmm. and the IMOs and the, the IGs. You know, again, like I said, a lot of times we're disconnected by language mm -hmm. and see, mm -hmm. but now that's becoming you know, so much uh, something of the past yes. now, you know, because of all the, 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 the Facebooks and all these different mediums that we have now to connect and mm -hmm. communicate. And we want to encourage that yes. at a time to give back to Africa. So how can we help you? Well, first to begin, you can go to a time to give back to Africa. Again, that's TTGBTA.com. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Sign up at our mailing list if you want to get like newsletters on updates on what's going on. If you're on Facebook, you can also friend our page on Facebook. Again, it's the same thing, TTGBTA. And, um, you know, and just get involved, you know, send us an, a line or a message and let us know what your contribution can be. And again, remember, we're 501C now, three, you know, so... We, so we are mm -hmm. capable of getting tax exempt mm -hmm. and so forth. So. Very good. Yeah. My name is Mr. Leegee from out of Brooklyn, NYC. And I'm an artist. Right now we're in Brooklyn, New York City. On the Caton soccer field. And our organization, The Time to Get Back to Africa, want to provide fields like this for the less fortunate in Africa. I'm going to show you some footage on the playing facilities of the youths in Africa. And you would see that they don't have playing fields like this. You know, we are fortunate to have grass fields that if I fall now, back! I'm good! 
get it? They don't have that. It's a lot of rubble, stones, dirt, dust. I play around, there's no dust in the air. I can breathe freely so that my respiratory is good. So with your help, we can get the right playing facilities for the young men and women out there, the gear, we can get water pumps, we can get the grass fields or AstroTurf, whichever is more feasible at the time. And we can make a difference, but I need your help. It's just me, Mr. Lee G. You probably haven't even heard about me. <laughs> you know, and we are here trying to make a difference as humanitarians. You know, you never know. Soccer is such a beautiful sport and it's a world sport that one of these young men or young women that we aid could be the next Messi, the next Neymar, the next Ronaldo. <laughs> you know what I mean? The next Clint Dempsey. <laughs> it's a world sport. It brings people together. Every culture in the world plays football. We're gonna do an experiment. Watch this. Those folks over there don't know me, but watch this. See? Now that's my point. They don't know me. But they playing with me. See? Soccer brings folks together. Brings the world together. <laughs> Very good example. I don't know those guys. But that's what football does. See this? This ball represents the world. Again, the world is like a ball, you know? We are here and they are there. <laughs> you know, and we are one world one planet. I just think that everybody deserves to have all the necessities in life to become successful or to make a difference. And that's what we want to do at a time to give back to Africa. We need your help to come together with us and go over there and make our contribution. We started in 2012, January. We did our first mission in Gao. We provided two soccer teams with gears and balls and so forth. Then we did it again in 2015 and 2016. Uh, we provided two soccer teams again, as well as clothes and shoes to the less fortunate. We want to continue that job and we need your help. Now I'm only one person. I'm just one artist. I'm just an artist that saw a need for something and decided that I'm gonna do what I can do to help. But now I've seen where, if I get your help, that I can do even more. So together, we can work together to make a better Africa. I miss the way it used to be when love was everything. How can we win? Get involved. Okay? Much love. <laughs> Very good. Tell me about, I know you're like the busiest man, tell me about your label. I know that you have a label also. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have a label because, you know, you know, at some point in time, I would like to, you know, make sure that there are other artists that can get an opportunity to make their dreams come true. You know, I've been, I've been, you know, folks might not know, but you know, there's no thing, no such thing as an overnight success. And I've been at it for a minute, you know, and, and learning, learning through the pitfalls and learning through the trials and the tribulations and how the, the business aspect of the music business mm -hmm. <laughs> really operates. So that's a, that's a growing and a, and a, a learning in a process as well. So, and I'm embracing it. I'm loving it. I have a book for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On our first episode, in our book talk, we talked about a book. Yeah, I saw uh, that. I saw that. Uh, read, is that the, the Moses Avalon yeah, book? Yeah, read uh, that book. Yes, I, I, I actually, <laughs> I actually uh, uh, 
checked out that book before, okay. like some years ago. <laughs> uh, I actually was on tour with Beyonce okay. as one of her muscle men, and her road manager, Alan Floyd, he actually um, told me about that book. So I heard about it before. Okay. Yeah. So that's a good book to they avoid should. the pitfalls yes. of the business. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, I know today mm -hmm. you are going to be unplugged. Yeah, sure. Um, I would love to do something yeah, live. I, well, you know, I was watching um, YouTube yeah. and I saw you playing the keyboards and then I saw you playing the guitar yeah. and I thought, oh, okay, this is kind of... <laughs> This is kind of cool. Yeah, you know, I, I love I love music. You know, I think you know, it's it's like my deepest passion, really. So there's never a limit. You know, there's never like a, a point where I reach and I feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like I started off with the keyboards and and then you know the guitar. Uh, you know, I, I fell in love with the guitar too. You know, like because it was so much easier to carry around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't get yeah, yeah, the piano is like you know, a lot of times a lesson, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, and then I started learning that, and once my daughter was born, that's when I started like playing with the, the guitar some more, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and um, trying to teach her to play too yeah. at like three years. Well, you know, I'm, speaking of daughter, I've, I've seen you and your daughter's uh, show. You have yeah, your own TV show. TV show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have, she's, she's I have a, competition, yeah, you and sure. Um, you sure she is, she's a fabulous host. Yeah, yeah, she's amazing. You yeah. Know? My daughter is, um, now she's seven now, actually. She just turned seven uh, in October. But um, yeah, she's an amazing child, you know. Every day I'm, I'm amazed by her, you know. It's like I even learn from her. It's so amazing how you can learn from children. Mm -hmm. But then the Bible says, you know, out of the mouth of babies, mm -hmm. something that come at truth, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, Psalms 8, so, yes. you know. But what I what I like about the show is, the show is about a father and a daughter. Yeah. Doing things together. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you know, out there we're always talking about the black man and he's not connected with his children and he's a deadbeat. So when I watch that show, yeah. I'm thinking, this is just great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You know? Yeah. And I think, I, I don't know if you're meant to be a model for others, but it's certainly... Um, Shows you as a model for for, for black men. I don't know if Thanks. that was your intention, but um, well, you know, that's kind of what I got from it. Yeah, for me, it's just QT. You know, when I say QT, I mean quality time. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, you know I, I don't get a lot of time to spend with her all the time. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes she's with her mom. Yes, and then she's with me. So whenever I get that chance, I try to make full use of it and, mm -hmm. and use it as wisely as possible. Because you know how this. Business could be. I love the show, and I gotta keep my eye on her. <laughs> you sure do. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we are going to take a short break. We'll be right back, and uh, we're gonna set Mr. Leegy up so that you can hear his music unplugged. So stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, folks. You already know I'm Mr. Liji from out of Brooklyn, NYC, originally from Trini. And uh, I'm just going to give you a, a taste of a few of my songs, you know, and I won't be long. <laughs> yeah. This is every little thing. Steam fish and breadfruit from your pot 
Clean up on your eyes from your blender car. Everything's good, I've got to keep it up. And your love never stop. Every little thing you do, in my heart it stands recorded. Every little thing you say, let me know that you're my darling. Every time I was on play, on the radio night or day, my body starts calling, calling for you. No matter what they do, a man with all his love and see. Love my baby more than two the nine months she breed. Love the feed, the healing of this high grade weed. I'm telling you, it's love we need. Oh, yes, indeed. Since that day I passed her by the corner. Had to let she know that one sexy daughter Didn't think that she would give me her number To all the room I them spread for Rasta Every little thing you do, yeah In my heart it stands recording Every little thing you say Let me know that you're my darling Every time I was on play On the way of night or day my body starts calling, calling for you. Every little thing you say, yeah. Every little thing you do, whoa. Every time I was some play on the bed or night or day, my body starts calling, calling. Now, uh, I think I'm going to do one more song. Now, there's uh, John Legend. I really like John Legend, and I think he's a dope artist. And before I go, I think I'm going to do a couple of his songs, uh, All of Me. All right? Yeah.
Some more, but you know, time is of the essence. I just want to big up Simba NYC TV and I want to big up Shelly S for having me here. You already know. Love. Yeah. <laughs> we are back, Mr. Leegee. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm you should play the guitar know. more often. You should be like. The, why don't you put out an um, unplugged uh, CD? I'm sure it's in the, in, in the, in the works. You know, it's something that I would want to do. I, I'm always, I always want to do something to help, you know, make me a better artist, you know, and make sure that I don't shortchange my, my supporters, you know yes. what I mean? Yeah. Because, you know, that's how I feel about the whole art thing, you know. Some of my mm -hmm. favorite artists a hard work is at what they do, you know, the Stevie Wonders, the Bob Marley's, the, yes. you know, the Stings, the, yes. you know, Phil Collins, the, they're all hard working mm -hmm. artists, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, so, yeah. I truly enjoyed that. I'm happy you did, yeah. I'm happy you did. So, uh, what's next? Wow, well, uh, you know, uh, Be I, I hate to interrupt <laughs> you, but I also heard that you were in a movie. Yes, uh, I was actually in a movie with, um, you know, Big Up to Major Hype, you know, and um, Foreign Minds Think Alike. Mm -hmm. uh, he actually gave me a spot on there. So Big Up to Major Hype, and he's really funny. If you don't know about Major Hype, then you must be under a rock or something. No, you know, you know what? Why I, I I'm smiling at that because the last time you were here, yeah, you talked about being possibly entering it into the movies, and then I think you kept it a secret. Well, and, yeah, I think I so. didn't know if I made the cut yet. You know what I mean? I didn't know. I didn't want to say, hey, I'm in the movie, and then the movie comes out, and then it's like you know, hype said, well, you know, the acting wasn't up to par, so we had to take that part out. Okay. But no, but I made the cut, so that's a good thing, you know. And I actually went to the premiere. Yeah. It was at the uh, Linden. Yeah, the Linden. Theater. Linden Boulevard. And um, yeah, you were pretty funny. You've got good comedic timing. Yeah. Well, uh, 
You know, <laughs> yeah, I tried. <laughs> Yeah, that was movie. fun. That was fun. You it, need to check that out. Foreign minds for, think alike. Yes. Foreign yeah. minds think alike. You need to check yes, that out. You need to you check know, it it's out. It's like hilarious. So, is there more movies in the future? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I, I'm actually uh, working on one now as we speak. So, <laughs> you know, I don't want to talk about it as of yet. You know, just uh, you know, but I'm definitely gonna come by. And let you guys know here at Simba NYC TV first. And of course, free tickets to the premiere. Absolutely. Mm. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Social media. We need your info. We need to be able to keep in touch with you. Not me, but them. Okay. I'm going to make it really simple. It's www.mrleegee.com. And the Mr. Leegee is spelled M-R-L-E-E-G.com. And once you go there, you're going to be able to connect to my Twitter, to my Instagram, to my SoundCloud, to my Facebook, to the charity pages, to the label, everything. It's right there. So it's like one hub with all my connections, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. You have the last word, and I know you have to leave. So what's the last word? Well, the last word is love, you know. Um, at the end of the day, all the problems that we're dealing with in the world... You know, we can't pretend not to see, especially when we are victims of it, you know. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be, you know, uh, have any kind of animosity to any other creed or race, you know. But um, we have to definitely address the issues that um, affect us as a people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my message is love, you know. And, you know, love is the answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to say, you know. Go check out MrLeeGee.com, check out the music, you know, support positive music, support the positive artists in your neighborhood, in your communities, because we are the grassroots, you know, of, mm -hmm. of what real music is all about. It's not much of that around. Yes. No more. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much again. Yeah, you know, and you are always mine. welcome back. Yeah, you know, it, I'm always... It, it's with... always refreshing. It's always different. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're going to be doing next. But whatever <laughs> it is, we want to know. So come back. <laughs> I'll definitely come back here. You know, I'm always treated with a lot of respect and, and as an artist. And I get a lot of love here. So I like coming here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, big up to Simba NYC TV. Big up to you, Shelly, yes, for having me again. And big up to Simba. You know, and big up to all the viewers out there that's checking out this show right now. Mm -hmm. And um, again, love. Yes. And we'll be right back. And when we come back, we're going to have book talk. Time to read. Stay tuned. You want to hide something from a Negro? Put it in a book. In a book. Welcome back to another episode of Book Talk. I always get excited when I do Book Talk because I know that knowledge is power. And the book today that I'm going to talk about is called Soul on Ice and it's by Eldridge Cleaver. Eldridge Cleaver was a writer, a political activist, and he was the early leader of the Black Panther Party. And in 1965, he was sent to Folsom State Prison, and he wrote a memoir of the of collection of essays about his time in prison. And this book, it's more than a personal account of, of one man's journey. It's a narrative of all oppressed people in American society. And the book is called Soul on Ice by Eldridge Cleaver. And I read that book when I was in school. It was, it was uh, considered a required reading. And I'm sure a lot of you read that book. So read it again. Read it again. And this time I bet you that you're going to be reading it with a, with a different light. This is a great book. Thank you again for joining us on Book Talk. And we'll see you next week. And I hope you're reading along with me. See you next week. You want to hide something, something from a Negro? From a Negro. Put it in a book. In a book.
Prevention is better than a cure Health Corner Thank you for joining me again at Health Corner and today I want to talk about garlic Yes, garlic For thousands of years, garlic was believed to have medicinal properties but we now have the science to confirm it. Garlic is a plant in the onion family and it contains a compound called allicin and that is what has the potent medicinal properties. Garlic boosts the function of the immune system and um, it, it can help you to keep the cold and the flu away. Um, in terms of heart attacks and strokes, which is one of the biggest killers of the black population, garlic has a significant impact on reducing blood pressure. Garlic also improves cholesterol levels. It contains antioxidants that reduces Alzheimer's disease and dementia. It's a wonderful seasoning to add aroma and taste to your dishes. And it's easy and it's delicious to include garlic and oil in your current diet. So, Include garlic in your next meal. It's that simple. Thank you again for joining me at Health Corner and I'll see you next week. Prevention is better than a cure. Health Corner. Here, he has his papers. Is he legal? Well, since he leave, he never come back, you know. So I can't tell you. You understand? But he leave with a pan side, the spas, three years now. And since he leave, he ain't come back. But he's a good fella. You know, he, he love pan. He love music and yeah, he's a good, he's a good he's cool people. Well, Sergeant Alexander, thank you so much. You know, my family and I, we can always rely on you. Thank you again. Well, you don't know, you know, it is stolen. And all the people and them set a foundation from a long time. So, you know, I just glad that I could be of some kind of assistance to you and your family. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, um, you know, Santa Claus will not forget you. On Christmas. <laughs> well, that is always a good thing to hear from all of So, you know, tell your family and tell the children and everybody. Uh, so that I let them say good afternoon. And they will see me again when only have a little function. Now, please. Yes. Thank you again. And, and ha have a good night. Same to you, Mr. Stolen. Hi, 
Gabby? What happening? Nothing. Well, since you know I laid by you this morning, I hear your voice, so you know. I just let me call you and see how you're doing. Yeah, everything good. I ain't gonna lie, Gabby. I was a little bit shocked by what you told me. It was a lot to take in, you know? Well, that's one of the reasons why I call you, you know what I mean? Because I know last night was like a serious shocker for you, know? You know what I mean? And I just want to make sure you're all right, you know what I mean? I've been thinking about it and thinking about you, and I just want to make sure you're all right. And that me and you still on the same page, you know? I love you and I'm thinking about you. It's just on my mind. Yeah, we still on the same page. You ain't something like you're sure about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not convinced by how you answer me. Gabby, you gave me a lot to think about. I ain't gonna lie. There was a lot to think about. But you know, I see some good things in you. Well, I see a lot of good things in you too. That is why, you know, I willing to make this move with you. That is why I willing to go all out with you. You know what I'm saying? Gabby, when you tell me you spent all your money on the ring, that touched my heart. Well, like I don't tell you already, love, love ain't no price, you know. You understand? Right now, I'm willing to make a gamble with my heart for your love. You know what I'm saying? Because you're the woman I want in my life and I'm willing to go all out on that. But Gabby, don't forget, can't tell nobody. Girl, you don't know already? That's between me and you. Nobody gonna know about that. I don't that. want people thinking I'm stupid. What? Of course not. I mean, that is not something I want somebody to be thinking about my woman. She's a clown or she's a fool or she's stupid or something. Of course not, baby. Alright. So call me Mrs. Bishop before you hang up now. <laughs> Alright, Mrs. Bishop. <laughs> Thank I will, you, Mr. Bishop. I, I will talk to you later, Mrs. Bishop. You have a great evening. <laughs> a blessed evening. Yes. Love you. But I love you more. Yo, Nicholas. What's good, my doll? What happened, boy? I know you might be saying I forget about you. Yeah? Nah, ain't nothing like that. I know how it be when a nigga busy, man. Shit. You know I be running around doing my thing too right now. I got this shorty whip and I'm just trying to run some errands real quick before I take that shit back. You heard? What's good though? What's popping? I ended up in Cajun the girl last night. You know? <laughs> Yo, that's what's up, man. Congratulations, my nigga. You about to be a husband? <laughs> Yeah, she accept. So you, you, you don't know already how we didn't come in. Right, and I don't tell you what way to do for me already. Yo, I hear that. That's what's up, man. I ain't mad at you. Shit. Gotta do what you gotta do out this motherfucker, man. They will be my best man. Like I told you, man. No question. Absolutely, my dude. You my man's man. I ain't gonna never front on you like that. I already told you you need me to do that. I got you. Alright? Alright then. That's what's up. But well, you sound like you're a little busy, like you're running about taking care of something as usual. Man, you already know how I do, man. I'm always trying to get it, man. I'm getting it now, so you right about that. I'ma holler at you later though. Alright? Uh.
Thank you for the information, Sergeant Alexander, but I am not convinced. I need to make a trip. Hello, Tony. This is Mrs. Sterling. Well, I have seen better days, but I'm hanging in there. Well, Miss Sterling, that's all we could do, you know? Tony, I need to make a trip to the States. Uh, what are the dates, Miss Sterling? I need to make that trip by tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's a, an emergency? Yes, um... There was a situation with my daughter. Oh my gosh. How is Deborah? Deborah is fine. Uh, she's not ill or anything. Okay. Um, but there was a situation with her and um, I just need to take care of it. And it's something that only I can take care of. Okay, Miss Sterling. Um, I will check it out. Uh, I will look up on uh, see what flights. There's one flight leaving with uh, American Airlines at 12.15 in the afternoon. Is there something a little later? Um, there's one with Caribbean Airlines that's leaving at, um, I think at 6.45 in the afternoon. That sounds know. about right. I can make that flight. Um, I'm checking the seats here now. It seems like there are only first class seats in Sterling. That's fine. That's how I fly. Yes, please do. Okay then. Um, so I would have that book for you and I uh, would send your itinerary over to your email as soon as I'm finished taking care of the details, okay? Should it be an open flight, sorry? It's an open flight. I'm not sure. I have to have this matter resolved and then I shall return. Okay, so um, I'm booking the flight for tomorrow, uh, 6.45 with Caribbean Airlines, first class. And it's an open flight on return, right? And, and Tony, make sure that the champagne is chilled. Let them know it's the way I need it to be chilled the way that I like it. Yes, I remember that. Uh, your husband is the same as well, right? Uh, about 32 degrees Celsius. Yes, but he won't be flying. This will be a solo flight. Okay. Tony, as always, you are efficient. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Sterling. I try, you know. Thank you again. I'll be waiting on your call. Okay. Have a blessed one. You too. enjoy today's show uh, you know we promised that this second series would have new surprises different things I hope you've recognized that we've been trying to give you something different every week and, and that you've been enjoying this um, continue to just keep watching and supporting us you know we, we feel the love thank you again so much Jai's love life and it's all we need bye bye until next week NYC TV.